Hello students, I am Shayan Dev from the Department of Mechanical Engineering. In my previous video, that means introductory part of the fitting shop, part one, I have discussed about the introductory parts only. But in my current video, that means introduction to fitting shop part two, I am going to discuss about the, the hand tools that we use in our, in our fitting shop. But before going to the mainstream, again, I want to tell one thing that is in our fitting shop, we have to work on the metals and our objective is to remove the excess materials so we can get a perfect assembly. Okay. But in case of hand tools, hand tools are those tools, those are held by hand to perform certain jobs or operations. But some operations that do not require the use of the machines for performing the work like uh, like uh, filing, stamping, driving a screw, chipping, sewing. So the shop where these operations are carried out is called the fitting shop. And the bench where these operations are carried out known as fitters bench or fitting bench. Basically, today I am discussing about all of these through a PowerPoint presentation. Now I am going to my first slide that is all fitting tools these are the all fitting tool tools that we required during our fitting job okay the first one is working work holding devices or clamping devices or supporting tools okay and next is measuring and marking tools cutting tools striking tools drilling tools and threading tools today through this uh, presentation and lecture I'm going to discuss about this, uh, about the first, first uh, tools that is work holding the devices, clamping or supporting tools. Okay. So I'm going to my next slide. That is the work holding devices. There are many work holding de devices like work wrench, wrench vise, B block with clamp, C clamp, angle plate, and the most important that is surface plate that we required. Okay, so at first, we are going to my first uh, tool that is uh, workbench. Basically, we can see we, we have to work on a bench and one bench vice is fitted on a table. That table is called actually the workbench. If it basically workbench is a fitting process that can be done at the various places, but most of the important operations of fitting are, are generally carried out on a table that is called workbench. And this, this bench is made of a high, uh, high and rigid, uh, rigid wood. Okay, nothing else. There are certain dimensions of a, of a standard standard table. Okay, I'm not going in detail about that. So I'm going to my next slide that is most important part that is the that is the bench vice. Actually, this is a holding device. That means if we want to hold our job, so we have to use this the bench vice. It is a common tool that is used for holding our jobs. Again, I am repeating my word. Okay, and it consists of a of a, cast iron body and cast iron jaws we can see there are there are two jaws mainly okay these two jaws job jaw plates are fits on the both side there are the plates we can see there are the plates okay and the jaw plates are made of high carbon steel and were resi resistant these plates okay and one jaw is, fi is fixed to the body and the second slide on the square thread, thread screw. We can see in this uh, sectional view, this is a square thread screw with the help of the handle. Here is the handle, okay. The jaws are opened up to the required length. There is a certain, uh, uh, certain length to opening the jaws, okay. Actually, there are, those are the part of the specifications. We have to specify one bench vice uh, using the length of the jaws. Okay. So we are, through this picture, we can also see the this is the pictorial view and this is the sectional view. And this this is this animation shows the one working 
of a bench vice. In this pictorial view, I want to evaluate the on the terms that is the one is the fixed jaw. This this is the fixed jaw. This, this is the movable jaw. This is the handle, and this is the bolt and base. The bo this bolt is fitted onto the table by the drilling. Okay, and this is the sectional view. Okay, this is the sectional view, and in this view we can see the internal parts like the the uh, main screw, the the guide nut. Okay, and the plates also. Now I'm going to my next tool that is V block, V block with clamp. This is also a important supporting tool. Basically, V block is used for supporting the shaft, shaft in marking out or drilling purposes only. Okay, the V groups provided in V V block grip the circular object longitudinally, and the V block works in combination with U clamp. We can see. This is a V block, okay, and this is a circular object or our workpiece. Okay, if we want to drill it, then we have to use this type of holding tool or supporting tool. Okay, the small size of V block is made of mild steel hardened and the and ground. Okay, and V blocks are used in, in parts to support two ends of a long shaft also. In this picture, in this in this picture, we can see also this is a U clamp, this is a clamping screw to to hold the job, and this is our V block that is also shown in a separate picture. Okay, and what is the function of this U clamp? I have already told. Again, I am telling that the V block works in the combination of U clamp to hold the round job. Okay, that means this is a this uh, is a combination with a V block that will help us to hold our job. Next, I'm going to my next tool that is C clamp. This is also a clamping device. It is used to hold the job against an angle plate or V block or any other surfaces. We basically, this C clamp is used to grip any any object. Okay, this is also called a G clamp. We can see in this picture also. Picture also, this is the main body, this is the handle, this is a screw arrangement, and this portion is movable toward this side. Okay, and through through this portion, we can we can grip any object. This is a gripping device. Okay, next. That is angle plate. Basically, angle plate is used for supporting the workpiece surface at right angle to the surface of the table. And the angle plate has two plate surfaces, which are at right angle. We can see in these pictures also, the two plates which are held at right angle. And it is provided with a number of slots in both the surfaces to hold the piece by means of the, the nut bolts or clamps we can see there are many slots are available okay basically this is a supporting supporting tool that we use okay next this is also important uh, basically surface plate is used for testing the trueness and flatness of a finished surface we can see uh, in this picture the, uh, this is the picture of a surface plate and we can see the surface roughness is very high okay sorry the surface roughness is very 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 low uh, the uh, surface is very smooth in case of this uh, sur surface plate and mm, Marking with a V block at right angle is done by putting them on the surface plate. So, in my previous slide, I have uh, uh, told about this angle plate. We we have to hold this angle plate on this on this surface surface plate also, so we can get better trueness and and flatness of a finished surface. And and another point is that surface plate is having a rectangular or circular face, 
which is perfect a perfect a horizontal plane okay so you can understand this about this uh, tools that we use in our fitting shop okay these are the basic of the hand tools in my next video i am going to tell you about the other tools that we use in our fitting shop thank you for watching this video if you like this video please like and share and uh, also subscribe my channel thank you